Wallbox, a company that we covered back at CES 2020, we've dropped a link below to that interview, have returned with the next generation of its bi-directional home charger. Unlike the original Quasar, which was released at a time when essentially no CCS equipped cars supported two-way power transfer, the Quasar 2, which is available with both Chidemo and CCS bi-directional power capabilities, has arrived just as V2H and V2G are starting to become more widespread in the EV world. Similar to its predecessor, the Quasar supports vehicle-to-grid and vehicle-to-home functionality. The former means that, where utilities allow it, EV owners can cash in on discounts and rebates that may be available from power companies for smoothing out grid demand. And that V2H capability means that owners can power their home from their EV in the event of a blackout. That vehicle-to-grid capability is obviously dependent on your power generation utility supporting it, however. The blackout feature, carried over and improved from the original Quasar, could allow a typical US household to power their home for three days, of course, depending on the battery capacity of their vehicle. Obviously, before you run out and try to buy one, you need to check that your vehicle is supported as many older CCS-equipped EVs do not support bi-directional charging. The Quasar 2 ups the charging capabilities from its older siblings 7.4 to 11.4 kilowatts and can connect to Wallbox's My Wallbox app through smart home solutions through Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet or 4G. As with other Wallbox products using Wallbox's Eco Smart system, the Quasar 2 can be integrated with sustainable home generation systems like solar panels and wind turbines, enabling you to tailor your charging to use only home generated electricity or a mix of home and grid power generation as required. If you're looking forward to getting the Quasar 2 in the US, you will have to wait a bit, however, because at the moment the Quasar 2 is only available in select European and Asia Pacific markets. We'd love to get our hands on one to test as soon as they're out in the US, and when we do, we'll let you know. And, you know, we want one because we, like you, love ourselves a bit of self-sufficiency. And we also hate it when the power goes out. That's it for this update. Keep that notification bell tapped to keep up to date with our CES coverage, because we'll be back with more soon.